Hi guys, Howard here with a uh, cross-picking lesson. Now I've done some cross-picking stuff in the past, but um, it was maybe a little bit more advanced, quicker, more complicated, crazy fusion chords, stuff like that. But I got an email the other day from someone asking me if I could do some more cross-picking instructional stuff, but maybe just slow it down a little bit and with some basic chords, okay? So I'm just gonna be using a D, a C9, and a G to start out with, and then we will evolve into A minor, C, G, and E minor, okay? So cross-picking is a really valuable technique, okay? And it can be combined with your fingers for a hybrid picking style, which I've done some lessons on in the past as well. But for this one, I'm going to focus strictly on cross-picking. And it's a really great technique because you can create sort of pianistic arpeggio type chord patterns. So, uh, and you can play slow stuff or really quick stuff. You get the idea, it's just really incredible what you can do. But we're going to slow this down. And like I said, just use some really basic chords. So let me play this first exercise for you and then I'll walk you guys through it bit by bit. So let's get into what's happening here, and I will refer to the strings as the first, being the one closest to your feet, followed by the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, okay? So what we have is a basic D chord, a simple D chord, and I'm starting with the fourth string, the D string, and we play three down strokes right through the fourth, the third, and the second strings. Okay, then we're going to swing to the first string with an up stroke. So we have down, 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 up. Then we're swinging back to the third string, the G string, with a down stroke. And then coming back to the second string with an up stroke. So we've got that little string skip in there. And then what I finished it off with was a down stroke on the fourth string again and an upstroke on the G string. And that's your basic cross picking pattern. But you will apply it to different chord shapes. Some chords have four strings in them, five strings and six strings, right? So we have. And remember not to use your arm, keep it all in your wrist. Just keep your forearm pretty much anchored and just let your wrist do the work, okay? So then we move to a C add nine chord and we want to spread that same cross picking pattern out across five strings. So we start with the A string this time, the fifth string, play three strings down and then swing again all the way to the bottom and play what we played last time. First, third, second, fourth, third. nice and you can hear the sound start to expand a little bit just by having that fifth string in there. Now we want to play a G chord so we simply pull these fingers up two strings. So we want to spread the technique out across all six strings. So you're going to have some wider string skipping now. We start with the sixth string, three down and again swing all the way to the bottom. So now we're bringing all six strings into the fold. Now staying with the G string, I'm going to, you don't have to move your fingers at all if you don't want to. I'm going to swing back to the A string just to get a different sound because we're sitting on the G chord a little bit longer. So I'm playing from the A string, the fifth string, down three, and this time swinging down to the second string for that upstroke. And then fourth string, third string, 
fifth string, fourth string. One more time on that one. So if we put the whole G chord together, we will have and then go back to the D and repeat that all again. sounding and now we're going to move to an A minor chord and we'll do some variations on that but we're going to move to an A minor chord now and we're going to play the pattern so I started with the fifth string play three down as always swing all the way down to the first string up back to the third string and then second string up and then we're going to insert a few eighth notes in there to connect it to the C chord and then the C to the G, and the G to the E minor. So that's all we play. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then with down strokes, open A string, second fret, and that leads us into the C chord. So we've got those two eighth notes at the tail end of the chord. One more time, nice and slow. that leads us right into the C chord and for the C chord we want to use the exact same strings and picking pattern that we used on the A minor. And then our two walking notes will be right from the third fret on the A string back to the second fret on the A string. So now with the A minor and the C we have and then we move to a G chord and I'm playing the old school G right here if you want to do that you can do that as well but it's pretty easy to move from that to that okay so we're gonna wind up on the G chord now so we're bringing in all six strings so we want to start with the uh, sixth string again down three but you can see we're playing the exact same amount of notes that we played on the A minor and the C down 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 up down up Now the two walking notes will be on the uh, sixth string, third fret to the second fret. And that will walk us into the E minor chord. And you can play the E minor any way you want, although as you can see using the two middle fingers works out really well. And now we are on all six strings just like the previous chord. So we start with the sixth string, three down. This time we play a full pattern, just like we did in the first half of this exercise. First, third, second, fourth, third. So for those four chords then, we have. Okay, so now let's talk about using that basic cross picking technique to add a little variety to break it up a little bit. For instance, on the D chord, you could also play something like this. Still using the basic cross picking technique. So, what I'm doing is I'm playing D sus by adding my pinky to the third fret on the first string. 
But we start out the same way. We start out on the fourth string with three down strokes. For the up stroke, the first string as before, back to the third string with a down stroke. So we have. But now I'm going to let go of the pinky and return to a regular D shape. And once again, play the third string and then an up stroke on the E string. So it's a slightly different pattern, but still using the cross picking concept. Swing back to the G string, the third string, and then an up stroke on the second string. So that's your variation right there. Now we're going to do the same thing again, the exact same strings with the exact same picking pattern, but staying on the D chord, and then open it up. So just by playing that pattern twice in the right hand and doing these little finger variations, we get a little bit more color. And then moving to the C add nine chord, we could play exactly what we played before in the previous example. And then simply take the pinky off and play the pattern again. So with both of those chords together now and the variations that we've added, we now have this. So you can see I just did the exact same thing on the G, right? I just took the pinky off and gave it a little extra texture. Now we can do the exact same thing or a similar idea, if you will, on the second section here. So we can keep the A minor chord exactly the same as we did before, complete with the two walking notes. Now when we get to the C, we'll start out the same way, three down strokes, and I'm going to add my pinky once again to the third fret on the first string down with an upstroke, come back to the third string with a downstroke, take your pinky off, upstroke. And then the two walking notes. So we have and we make our way to the G chord, right? played the G exactly the same as we played it the first time around, so that's going to remain the same. But this time when we get to the E minor, we're going to play this. So that's four down, one, two, three, four, right from the sixth string, swing all the way down to the first string, four up strokes. So we have And then of course we'll go back and repeat it from the A chord again. But here's yet another variation you can add to the C chord. Instead of placing the pinky on the first string at the third fret, we'll place it on the second string at the third fret. So, so you want to do the upstroke on the uh, second string, right? But still swing back to the third and then let that pinky off. So real slow on that one, we have. So that's a nice little uh, variation that you can add in there. So there you go, just a brief tutorial on uh, cross-picking, which I think is just a really 
cool technique to master. You can really do a lot of cool things with it. Get kind of a, like I said earlier, kind of a pianistic sound on guitar. And you can just play some great stuff once you get used to it. And there's other variations. Of course, there's other variations that you can do. But that's a good place to start. But once you get it down, you can really play a variety of stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, all the best to everyone.